Kobo Amina, Proto Mono Desk, we'll go back. We're in my apartment. We are doing a first uh, box opening for a while, right? It's been like how long? I think almost like a year since I've done box openings. Um, but yeah, so welcome back. This is Trap Tricks. This is a brand new structure deck that came out a couple of days ago. Um, but yeah, so this one, great reprints in the back over here, if it will please line up. Let me actually zoom in a bit more. Like so, and then auto focus it a bit. There we go. So, <clears throat> the trap tricks may appear cute on the surface, at least Konami admits it. Um, but if you get too close, they'll devour you whole. These carnivorous plants, and interesting, they they capitalize the P in plants when it's like a, when it's not a proper term, I guess. Uh, I guess they're sort of plants and insect monsters. Okay, that's why they're capitalizing. Interesting. The more you know. All right, so we get a bunch of cards in here. Good, good reprints, such as the um, uh, trap hole set, set, as well as a copy of where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Evenly matched. There it is. All right, let's just get right into it, though. So this is a pretty good set for roughly t twelve bucks at your locals, like less than forty for your entire set. But let's just get right into it. So first off, we have Trap Tricks Pudica. So Pudica reads as unaffected by normal hold, normal traps, like all the rest of them. And then you can use each effect of the card once per turn. When this card is normal summon, you can add one Trap Tricks Garden, which is a field spell from your deck to your hand. If this card is supposed to summon, you can target one special summon monster your opponent controls and then banish it. And then also during the next standby phase, your opponent can special summon one other banished monsters. That's interesting. Next up is Trap Tricks Garden. This is the one card that uh, Pudica searches out. So during your main phase, you can normal summon one Trap Tricks monster in your addition to your normal set, uh, summon and set. You can use this effect once per turn. The first time each insect monster or plant monster you control will be destroyed by car battle each turn. It is not destroyed. You can banish one monster you control, special summon one Trap Tricks from your hand or graveyard. You can only use the effect of this card once per turn. So this is interesting. You only really need like one or two of them because you really don't run a lot of Pudica, sadly. Um, but yeah. So this is the other card, Trap Tricks Tantalizing Tune. This is basically sort of our, um, what's that card? Not Into the Void, it's um, Darkness Star or something like that. So you basically discard one level four insect monster, plant or insect monster, or one normal trap. Draw two cards, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one of your banished level four insect or plant monsters or normal traps. Place it on the bottom of the deck and then use it once per turn. Next up we have Trap Tricks Pingicula. So this requires two, four, Two level four monsters. While this card is in has material, it is unaffected by trap effects. And if activated, if, and other effect uh, ugh, activated effects. Wow, of other, other monsters of the same type as this card's material, you can use each effect. The following trap tricks pillion once per turn. You attach one material from this card. Add one trap tricks monster from your deck to your hand. And if a monster owned by your opponent is set to the graveyard or banished, you get by card effect. You could attach one of those monsters as material to this card. Next up, we have the new Link 3, Trap Tricks, Adipus. So Adipus requires two plus like, uh, two plus in monsters, including an insect or plant monster. So when this card is Link Summoned, the card is unaffected by traps. All Trap Tricks monsters you control gain a thousand tech while you have a normal trap in the graveyard. And then once per turn, you can target up cards to your opponent controls, up to the number of insect and plants you control, negate those effects, and then you can destroy... You, uh, <clears throat> sorry. You could negate them and then banish one trap from your graveyard to destroy one of those cards. Next up, we play Trap Tricks uh, Arachnocampa. So Arachnocampa is interesting because it's an extender, and you really want to have this card like in your in your hand going first and second. Um, this is a good extender into your Link Two or other Link Four or Rank Fours. So this is unaffected by whole and trap normal trap cards like before. The first time each set card in your spell and trap would be destroyed by a card effect, and it's not destroyed. During the main phase, you could just can, ugh. During the main phase, while you control a trap text monster quick effect, you can special this card from your hand. Also, you can special some monsters from your extra deck for the rest of this turn, except insect or plant monsters. You can use this effect once per turn. And there you go, that's the copy of Evenly Match right there. And then next up we have a brand new card, which is Trap Tricks Holutea. So Holutea reads, that's a really bad cut on the edge over here, you see that? So basically, you set this card, then you're able to activate it by discarding a normal trap. So for example, if you had your copy of Trap Hole or something like that, you just discard it and then it's a level 4 for you to go into your uh, XC's place. 
Next, we'll play the Trap Tricks 8, 8 track. So, this one, you can activate normal trap cards on your hand. The activation and effects of normal traps are activated on your field cannot be negated. So, you don't really play this one because it kind of doesn't come that much in handy, but it's still a decent monster if you want to play like actual hand traps in a way. Next, we'll play Miramello. Miramello is a 3 of in any budget build of this deck because you're able to just normal summon it and then add one normal trap whole. Um, Whole trap from your deck, so it could be Holy Tail as well, and then you could use that, that effect with it. But the other good part about this is this card is special summon. You can target one spell or trap your opponent controls and then destroy that target. Uh, Nefenses, this is the plant <coughs> trap tricks. Um, so if you activate a whole normal trap except your damage step, you can add one, add to your hand, or special summon one trap tricks monster from your deck except Nefenses. Next up is Trap Tricks Dionia. Dionia is how you pronounce it, I think. Um, but it reads as when this card is normal summon, you can target one Trap Tricks monster in your graveyard, special summon that target in defense position. When this card is a special summon, you can target one normal trap in your graveyard, set that target, but banish it during the end phase uh, of your next turn if it's still on the field. We have Jen Lisa. This is one of the newer ones that came back. I think it was like 2022 or something like that. Um, but this one reads you can tribute this card, set two whole trap cards. Uh, with different names, one from your deck and one from your graveyard, then but banish him when they leave the field. Not the greatest card, kind of not really worth the entire D of the deck, to be honest. And this is not even the highest rarity, so it kind of is a bad card. <laughs> next up, we play this. Uh, next up, we have one Trap Chicks Vesili uh, Vesiculo. Vesiculo. Uh, these all plant names are all Latin based, and it sounds weird. So if you only use one of the fallen effects per turn, and only once per turn, you set one trap you control to the graveyard, special summon this card from your hand. If you control no cards in your spell or trap zone, you get banished this card from your graveyard, then target one normal trap in the graveyard inside of your field. Then we've got some good kit monsters over here, like the two kaijus. We have both the uh, Gardarla, the Mystery Dust, and then uh, Kumongus, the uh, Sticky String Kaiju. Next up we play Retaliating C. We have Renaissance Insects, Lone Fire Blossom, get you know, plant monsters, but these cards you don't play in the budget deck anyway. We have another good reprint, which is the common rarity Ash Blossom. And then we have Rose Lover, Sage to Flare, which also decent reprint from I think the only one was Synchro Storm. And then we play we got two Mech Knight reprints, and then we had a Artifact Moral Moral Attack. Also have good extenders like Fire Hand, Ice Hand, or Thunder Hand. And our spells, we have common Regeki, Harpy's Feather Duster, um, and then Terrifying Trap Hole Nightmare. So this one's interesting because it kind of is like a um, Solemn Strike in a way. So if your opponent has Special Summon a monster this turn, target one monster your opponent controls with 2,000 more attack, destroy it, and then you could have one whole normal trap in your graveyard. You could banish that mo one monster in your opponent's graveyard. So it kind of looks like a Solemn Strike. And then you're able to banish something if you have other necessities in your graveyard as well. We play one cop, or there is one copy of Normal Trap Hole. I'm not making a deck list right now. <laughs> and then we you get two Bottomless, one Void, one Trap Tricks Hole Nightmare, or two actually. And then we get one Floodgate, Graves Digger, uh, Trap Tricks, and then Fanonite Shade Brigade. Wow, these cuts are bad, dude. Like, this is bad prints right now. But at least we got her evenly. That's all that matters. Um, we have Artifact Sanctum, Naturia Sacred Tree, and then for our other extra deck monster, we have one copy of Track Tricks Rafflesia, one Alamaris, one Kulara, one Sarah, and then we also got one copy of Mantis, which is at the end for some reason. I don't know why all the other ones were like this as well, so mm, I don't know. Um, maybe it's just a printing error on their end, but yeah. Well, this is a fun deck. Definitely pick it up right now, just because the Evenly reprints are great, as well as the Ash Blossom reprints, so definitely worth the money. Pick it up uh, at your locals, and then I'll catch you guys later. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, so sayonara.